Imagine, if you will, a world where the object of your affection isn't a human being, but a machine. A world where the sweet whispers of love aren't spoken by a human voice, but by a robotic one. Could that be the future of dating? Could robots be our companions in the realm of romance? On the one hand, there are those who argue for the benefits of dating robots. One of the most compelling arguments is the potential for compatibility. With a robot, you could theoretically design your perfect partner. Their personality, their interests, their appearance, all tailored to your exact specifications. No more awkward first dates, no more heartbreak when you find out they don't share your love for 80s synth pop or your passion for underwater basket weaving. Furthermore, proponents argue that dating robots could solve the problem of loneliness. In this increasingly digital age where many of us spend more time with our screens than with other people, a robotic companion could provide a sense of connection and intimacy that might otherwise be lacking. But there are also those who caution against this brave new world of robotic romance. They argue that dating robots could lead to a devaluation of human relationships. After all, if you can simply program your partner to be exactly how you want them, what does that say about our ability to compromise, to grow, to change? Isn't part of the beauty of human relationships the unpredictability, the excitement of discovery, the joy of growing together? Moreover, critics argue that dating robots could lead to a further erosion of our social skills. If we're all just dating machines, who's to say we won't lose the ability to connect with other human beings? to empathize, to communicate, to understand. And let's not forget the ethical questions. What rights would a dating robot have? Could they consent? Could they feel? These are complex questions that we as a society would have to grapple with. So where does that leave us? On the one hand, we have the promise of perfect compatibility and a cure for loneliness. On the other hand, we have the potential loss of human connection and a host of ethical dilemmas. In the end, it's clear that the future of dating and the role of robots is a complex issue, one that raises questions about what it means to be human, what it means to love, and what it means to connect with another being. But one thing is certain, whatever the future holds, it's sure to be an interesting ride. So while we may not have all the answers, we continue to explore, to question, to debate. And as we do, we shape the future of dating, of love, and of our very humanity. After all, isn't that what it's all about?